dear students today we will start module number 3 representation for representation for nti systems representation for nti systems in control engineering your teacher might have told you how to reduce two blocks in cascade two blocks in parallel etc similar type of transformations i teach you over here first is two blocks two systems two systems in parallel two systems in parallel i will consider two systems in parallel having the impulse responses h1 of n and h2 of n you have two systems having impulse responses h1 of n and h2 of n this is a symbol for a summer this is plus this is plus minus in control systems this was the symbol for a summer the input is x of n the output is y of n we have to combine these two blocks into a single block what is the impulse response of that equivalent block we are requested we are required to find this i call original diagram this i call original diagram and this is figure number 1 i call the output of first system as y1 of n output of the second system as y2 of n from figure 1 from figure 1 from figure 1 we can write from figure 1 we can write y of n equals y1 of n plus minus y2 of n both the systems are LTA systems therefore their outputs can be found using convolution theorem what is y1 of n what is the input to the system it is x of n what is y1 of n y1 of n is this implies y of n equals what is y1 of n x of n convoluted with h1 of n and what is y2 of n x of n convoluted with h2 of n x of n convoluted with h2 of n using distributive property using distributive property property we can write we can write y of n equals x of n convoluted with h1 of n plus minus h2 of n this is the overall impulse response which i call it as h equivalent of x h equivalent of n i will now write a block diagram corresponding to this equation that block diagram is like this input is x of n inside the block the impulse response is h1 of n plus minus h2 of n and the output of this block is y of n this is called figure 2 this is known as figure this is, this is known as equivalent block diagram is known as equivalent block diagram if you have two LTA systems in parallel then the impulse responses are, are added with proper polarities to give h1 of n plus minus h2 of n so for doing this derivation i have used the distributive property of convolution sum even though this derivation is done for a discrete time system it is applicable even for a continuous time system only thing is instead n should be replaced by t next we will proceed to two systems in cascade two systems in cascade two systems two systems in cascade let us consider two LTI systems having impulse responses h1 of n and h2 of n connected in cascade the overall input is x of n overall response is y of n 
response of the first system is y1 of n. Systems are said to be in cascade when the output of one system becomes the input of the next system. This figure I will call as figure 1 and it stands for original block diagram. Original block diagram. From figure 1, from figure 1 we can write, from figure 1 we can write y1 of n equals x of n convoluted with h1 of n. This I call equation 1. And what is y of n? y of n is y1 of n convoluted with h2 of n. This I call equation 2. Substituting equation 1 in equation 2 we get y of n equals x of n convoluted with h1 of n convoluted with h2 of n. Using, using associative property, using associative property, here, using associative property we can write Using associative property, we can write y of n equals x of n convoluted with the resultant of h1 of n convoluted with h2 of n. This equation will now be translated into a block diagram. Inside the block, we will write h1 of n convoluted with h2 of n. H2 of n. The input is x of n, the output is y of n. This is figure number 2 and it represents equivalent, equivalent block diagram. So I want to summarize, if you have two blocks in parallel, you will add the impulse responses. If you have two blocks in cascade, you will convolute the impulse responses. Even though this derivation is done for a discrete time system, it is applicable even for continuous time LTI system. Now we do few problems based on this concept. Problem is find the impulse response, IR means impulse response relating x of t or x of n with y of t or y of n for the figures for the figures given. This is the statement. This is first problem. The figure is given. I'll put the figure. First I take a discrete time system. Now this entire block diagram has to be reduced into a single block. We have got here two blocks in parallel, please watch the signs plus minus. When there are two blocks in parallel, we add the impulse responses with proper polarities. So add h1 of n and h2 of n that gives this figure h1 of n minus h2 of n. Cascade with h3 of n. These two blocks are in cascade, therefore convolute h5 of n and h4 of n. That gives this block h4 of n convoluted with h5 of n. Now we will 
Next, these two blocks are in cascade, convolute, these two impulse responses. That results in the block diagram shown here. X of N. H1 of N minus H2 of N convoluted with H3 of N. In parallel with H4 of N convoluted with H5 of N. Now place is about these two blocks are in parallel, hence, hence what is H equivalent of N? Hence, F equivalent of N is these two impulse responses to add with proper polarities. H1 of N minus H2 of N convoluted with H3 of N is added with, is added to minus of H4 of N convoluted with convoluted with H5 of N. A very complicated block diagram is reduced to give impulse response H equivalent of N. We have to remember that when there are two blocks in parallel, we have to add the impulse responses. When there are two blocks in cascade, we have to convolute the impulse responses. I will go to the next problem. Second one. H1 of P H2 of P This is the block diagram now this has to be reduced. Please note that for convolution operation, for convolution operation, delta of is identity operator. What first let me tell you what mistake you will do. You will feel that there are three blocks in parallel. So you see the impulse response of this block is one. So we will add one plus h1 of one, sorry, h1 of t minus one plus h2 of t you will write that is wrong. You are adding impulse responses for convolution operation delta of t is identity operator that means x of t convoluted with delta of t is x of t therefore the impulse the impulse response of this path is like this please watch here x of t this is h1 of t i'll write here delta of t because x of t convoluted with delta of t is x of t is not 1. This important point should be understood. We then add with proper polarities. This is plus, this is plus h3 of t. Overall output is y of t. Now we will apply the rule for three blocks in parallel. Add these three impulse responses with proper polarities. That results in this figure. You get a block having impulse response H1 of T minus delta of T plus H2 of T. In cascade with H3 of T. In cascade with H3 of T. Output is Y of T. Now you have got two blocks in cascade as equivalent impulse response H equivalent of T equals convolute these two impulse responses H1 of T minus delta of T plus H2 of T is convoluted with H3 of T. So I have done these are the types of problems normally asked in the examination. It is a very tricky problem in the sense Instead of writing delta of t, students will write 1. Please note that x of t convoluted with 1 is not x of t. x of t convoluted with delta of t is x of t. Therefore, this middle path has an impulse response delta of t not 1.
next topic will be theorem on theorem for NTI systems which we will do in the next video.